We're gonna do jumper effect and it's gonna be fun uh, with After Effects. First of all, uh, you can download the footage in the description. Uh, basically, I have this jumper clip that I film. I'm gonna take that uh, and drag that clip straight into my composition uh, icon right there. So it matches the dimensions of my film. Uh, next, what I'm gonna do is uh, cut it. Now, when you film your jumper scene, you gotta film on a tripod or it has to be on a desk or something. It has to be still. It's also important to maybe get uh, a picture or some footage of no nothing in it, like nobody in there. So you have, and I'll show you how you're gonna use that later. Basically, I'm like this. I'm pretending that debris falling on me. I'm, I'm gonna add that later, as you can see. And then I'm gonna come up here and basically I crash in here and I basically just did uh, one straight footage I run outside and then come up out in here and then jump out of the wall now when you film your jumper scene try to make it creative um, don't just like go from one place to the other there's got to be a purpose of why you're jumping from one place to the other in this case the ceilings collapsing on me so uh, I'm gonna go to the part right where I hit the wall right there Okay, and now I'm gonna hit Command Shift D, and that's going to uh, cut my footage right there. Now I'm going to fast forward it, and right here I have a scene where like um, it looked like I'm not in it. So I'm gonna hit Command Shift D again. Okay, and then I'm going to drag it out right where I want it to start up again. So notice I pop out right here. So I'm gonna start, hit Command Shift D right about there, um, cause that's where I wanna stop it. So um, we have this, I don't need this little footage uh, right here, my first uh, block. So I'm just gonna click and hit delete uh, that. I'm gonna drag this footage over here. Um, right now I'm gonna put it right at the beginning and I'm gonna control click on this um, uh, piece and I'm gonna go to time and then time freeze frame okay so basically now it's all time frozen with nothing in the frame and so that's why um, we're gonna use that later on and now I'm gonna drag my second part where I um, come out right there and so it depends how how long you want to be out so here I teleport and then it's kind of a long time to teleport so I'm gonna actually trim this down a little bit more f for the time that I'm uh, <laughs> going through this wall and then I'm out here okay and so basically I say basically a lot okay so now I have my footage and it's about six and a half seconds so now if you notice uh, we trimmed it a little bit but we don't need all this extra space back here anymore up to 12 seconds so what I'm going to do is if you scroll to the right and you're gonna take your work area and trim it all the way to the edge of your last footage here on the top layer and then uh, control click uh, right in this area here and hit trim crumb to work area so now it's a little bit easier to work with because we're looking at just the footage that we have um, so now what we're gonna do is add that cool effect that I know you is probably the highlight um, of what you want to make so basically uh, when I'm here in the air, this is where I need to make myself. Yes, I do like get cut and disappear, but it needs to be, look more realistic. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to add a smoke. So I'm going to add like a uh, black smoke. I'm going to drag that on top. And before I get too carried away, um, it's good to name your stuff. Like I'm going to uh, rename, control click at the bottom, rename, and this is just called I'll just call this freeze frame okay and then uh, this one's name is like the end and then this is like the beginning just so I know where which part of the jump is okay um, so now with my uh, begin part I'm going to um, Take that black smoke and notice the black smoke is at the top layer I'm gonna move that over to right about here now if you notice there's a white layer no problem uh, control click in this uh, area where layer name is hit columns and we're gonna go to uh, where is it modes and we're gonna choose multiply and now we're able to um, get it I'm gonna put it right over there by me 
Uh, you can hit R to rotate if you need to rotate it according to where you looks more realistic. S for scale. I'm going to scale it down to where I want it to be. Okay. Um, and if you want it to like start really small, you know, like you could start it like a couple frames, like maybe right here. Okay. And you could start. Um, we could start our smoke kind of really small right here. Hit the stopwatch. Uh, hit, go ahead, hit command, and then right arrow, and we can have a couple frames here. Okay, so right here, maybe I want that a little bit um, bigger, so I'll put maybe 65. So notice it's bi it got bigger. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then, of course, I would want to end uh, the smoke, um, you know, right about... You know, right about there. So I'm gonna cut um, cut that more to the right. Okay. And again, I would probably hit uh, T on the keyboard for opacity. Hit the stopwatch, and then uh, go to the ending and hit uh, zero, just so that it kind of fades out instead of it's very abrupt. Okay. So now it's a little bit realistic. Now. Um, when I jump, it's kind of like you're warping through time or uh, an area. So you want a little bit of a, a jerk action. So what I'm going to do is hit uh, layer, new, and we're going to go to new adjustment layer. Um, and then we're going to call this adjustment layer, um, it's going to be turbulence. So I'm just going to call this turb1. And for my turbulence, um, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and search for turbulence, T U R B, and I'm going to drag that right onto that clip right here. And then I'm, I'll get some options that I can work with right here. So, first of all, um, for, notice it, it applied it to the whole clip, the turbulence. Uh, I don't want it to the whole clip. So, I'm just going to use the pen tool and kind of just roughly, in a very fast way, kind of crop myself out. So or crop out everything else and mask it. Um, if there are parts that you missed, uh, just um, go ahead and hit V, and then you can move these arrows. Um, and notice that it's pretty, uh, and then I'm gonna tr trim it a little bit, like that. So if you notice that it's pretty blocky. Like you can see the lines of where it's bending and warping the area. Uh, to get it more um, soft on the edges, we're gonna feather that bad boy. So we're gonna go into our turb utilence and then go into the mask and then click on that arrow again and you'll see a feather. And so um, let's go ahead and feather this thing, maybe a 50. Okay, so now notice it feathers it and you don't see as much of a difference uh, around it. Okay, so um, now for our turbulence, it's gonna like start at maybe a zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the stopwatch um, right at the beginning of it. So amounts, we're gonna hit uh, zero. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, amount uh, stopwatch. Um, and again, if it's cut off like this, it's okay. This is just an adjustment layer. It's like an effect on this layer. So it's not going to cut me out. Just the turbulence is going to be cut out. So I'm going to hit command and right arrow a couple times um, until I get where I want it to be for my turbulence. I'm going frame by frame. And so now I'm going to hit maybe 50 again. And you'll notice I warp. And then if you go ahead and click on offset, we can offset this thing too. Um, and when I, you do offset, you can basically bend it the way you want. So I'm gonna bend it um, maybe like that. Okay, then hit uh, command right arrow a couple more times. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back to zero uh, for my amount. And now it'll return the background to normal so it won't be so distracting, okay? So now what we got is I'm coming up here, I can get displaced a little bit, and I'm out. Now um, if now I come out here and I can do the same effect uh, to this part here. 
Um, the problem is it's gonna bend the wall more than it will me and so I'll do the same thing except for the uh, turbulence um, bending um, and the smoke uh, notice if I go to my smoke and hit command D which will duplicate it and then I put the smoke like this and I put it over me here notice it looks like it's still in the hall so I'm gonna have to hit T for opacity T and then drag that down so it's a little bit more faint and I'll probably scale it down too because it's outside so, uh, so but if, if it happens fast I don't think people will kind of like realize it too much um, but uh, that's just something to consider when you're filming um, of what to consider so uh, the last part I would probably do is and again I would mask and uh, warp it again if it's appropriate in my case it's not um, because of that wall it'll warp the wall instead of me now what I'll do is you want like you know boosh boosh you know that sound effects really help so if I go in here to my um, sound effects like that I've imported um, so I've imported let's see a poof sound so I can go ahead and drag that sound clip in there and then just go ahead and um, drag it right to where he starts to poof right here you know and then trim it down okay and then hit command D and then put it where he um, I come out as well you know so that'll be a little bit more realistic now one more thing I want to do I told you make things more realistic why he's jumping notice I, I see debris coming down so I've downloaded this debris um, right here so uh, I drag that debris in and now if you notice I'm going to scroll through uh, debris falling on me first of all it's too big so S for scale I'm going to scale this down uh, so it's a little bit more realistic it's not too crazy um, and second of all um, it, it, the debris clip is basically big debris first and then small degree later I want to give him a reason why like I'm escaping the big debris that's coming so what I'm going to do is um, go right where the big debris just landed and get the little stuff okay so we're maybe right about there command shift D and then I'm gonna just switch these two I'm gonna put the small degree debris here the big stuff here and so now if you notice it's like this little stuff so I'm gonna be jumping hey there you go window of opportunity there and then jump through okay and then I'm going to trim my clip of debris so that little stuff ends there and now I'm going to try to line up some big debris that's going to be fallen so it looks like you know I just you know missed it so I'm gonna put it right there so now if I play it um, boom I missed it and then the big stuff goes and it looks like I just escaped it